I gave every player in FIFA zero pace. All right, here's Kylian Mbappe. This is the fastest player in FIFA, and he has his normal pace. And now here's Kylian Mbappe with literally zero pace. You know what? Actually, he's not that slow. Today, we're going to see what players' ratings have changed to after giving them all zero pace. And we are going to test every player with zero pace in a kickoff game as well as career mode simulation where whoever wins the Champions League will be crowned winner of today's video. Seriously, though, he has zero pace in... I mean, we are just in the practice arena, but low-key, this, this kind of feels quick. So zero pace in this game is basically going to be equal to one acceleration, one agility, and one sprint speed. Aubameyang, man, was once one of the fastest players in FIFA. Then giving him these stats, he goes to a 76 overall. <laughs> And as for Arsenal, Thomas Partey is now their highest rated player. Before we check out anyone's rating, let's see what Zero Pace looks like playing an actual match. Just to add to it, we will also be dropping the sliders down for sprint speed and acceleration to literally zero, actually giving them zero pace. If you guys could, before we start, subscribe to the channel so we can hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. You guys are amazing. Okay, right. right. I'm not going to be playing a full match. I just want to test this. To add to the fun. Let's just do no rules as well. Okay, so here are what the team or overalls have dropped to liverpool still amazing psg still very good your pace basically makes the attack just drop so much in overall if you think about it i mean the attackers need that speed defenders usually i mean hey they don't usually have as much speed but it could control chelsea because why not all right let's go into the match let's do this golden goal whichever team scores first wins we need to put something on the line for this game so if i can successfully win this game i'll get an extra 500 million to spend when we get into the career mode if i lose i just have to start with a normal budget for whatever team we go with come on boys zero pace i need this money all right how slow will it actually be okay yeah it's really oh god oh my god run Jorginho! no they're full oh my god this is but i'm gonna lose within the first minute yes come on mendy this is literally impossible i feel like a, a damn turtle out here bro look at this i'm i'm full sp oh my god a goal line clearance look at this I mean, I feel like there's something on for me that isn't on for the other team because I am incredibly slow. I mean, yeah, both teams zero sliders. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know what it is. When you have the ball, everyone still has 99 dribbling. So the team with the ball dribbling kind of, it low-key kind of increases your speed. I'm trying to run with Mendy, literally. This is as fast as he can sprint. See, yes, we can run a little bit faster when we actually have the ball, but still, this is full speed. Wait, this should be an easy challenge then because the defense technically just can't run as fast so i just got to be able to keep possession and hope someone i mean this could take a while this is the most exhilarating fifa gameplay trust me you will ever see and i've lost the ball <laughs> harry kane trying to run this is so no he's actually through oh no oh no he's through and i can't i can't i think can't physically catch mendy please mendy men Yes, Mendy. Oh, I should also do goalkeeper speed. I think it's like its own separate stat. That's also at zero. Freaking, I love you, Mendy. Yeah, it was either goalkeeper speed or goalkeeper reflex. One of the two is at zero. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Get the ball back. No. Yes. Mason Mount. Go, Mason Mount. Oh, he's skilling. Oh, Mount. Come on. It's like, it's literally like a freaking Nan is out here with all her... With all her friends from the retirement home out here trying to play a match of freaking football, man. That's where it ends, isn't it? Son, don't do it to me, son. Yes. Mendy, dude. Where would it be without Mendy right now? No, no, not Kane. Another goal line clearance. All right, this is the possession. This is the possession where we score. Oh, my God. Mount is moving very quickly out of nowhere. Out of, wait, what? Actually, though, no. everyone's at one pace. I just want to confirm. Yeah. Because why did we all of a sudden get a lot more fast? Do you guys notice that? Ukaku? Ukaku! Just realized Ukaku's still on the team. Does I'm pretty sure he, like, wants off Chelsea right now. Oh, bro. I've been worried about offside. I just realized this is on freaking no rules. I am an idiot. I swear, some players... Why? Oh, now everyone's slow. I don't get this game, bro. I do not. That's it. That's a GG. That's a freaking GG. Mendy could only do so much. Golden goal. That right there, my friends, is an L. And I am forced to rage quit. Okay, no extra money going into the career mode. Now that that's out of the way, we have to scout which team we want to use. And let's find out who the highest rated players are. So let's start by going to club transfers. And we are going... Well, you already saw Arsenal's rating. We are going to search the, the top rated players, I guess. We're going to be using this 
poor shark to reveal it. Literally Googled funny animals and that was the first picture that popped up. The, the highest rated player is Atletico Madrid. Hold up, who is this? It is Jan, oh, it's Jan Oblak. Ah, uh, are all these about to be in, uh, are they all about to be goalkeepers? Yeah, probably, right? I'm just making sure that he has one overall pace. And I guess I did, I guess there's no goalkeeper speed position and I kept the reflexes at their normal, so makes sense. Oblak, highest rated player. Wait, are these all about to be goalkeepers then? Player two. Kevin De Bruyne's rating didn't change. And well, Neuer, boom. Conte, boom. Casemiro, it's all midfielders and goalkeeper. It's all CDMs and goalkeepers, pretty much. Need checking to make sure KDB still has one pace, but his rating stays the same. And we'll keep scrolling. Literally, defenders, goalkeepers, midfielders. Who is going to be the highest? Levin, it's Lewandowski. The highest rated attacker in FIFA is now Robert Lewandowski. Loki kind of deserved. And that's it. Only five pages worth of players who are 85 overall and higher. I mean, judging off of that, we should probably choose Atletico Madrid, right? All right, sprint speed. Mbappe, I think we already mentioned this. He is the highest pace player in the game. So we got to see what it's dropped his rating to. Mbappe goes from... A 91 oh, all the way down to an 82. It's actually crazy that Pace nearly drops him 10 overall ratings. Okay, what about this one? Adama Troyer was player number two. He was a 78 overall, second highest pace player in the game. Boom. Oh my God, he goes to a 63. <laughs> Bro, he is literally useless now. Bro, this this is actually such a fun mod. Also a crap mod, because if you know me, I love to abuse pace and FIFA. And there's no doing that today. Okay, can we just look at all forwards? Here are the highest rated attackers in the game. Okay, we know who number one is already. It's Robert Lewandowski. Two, CR7. Three, Kane, Benzema. And Bop, and Bop in an 82 is the fifth highest attacker in the game. This is going to be freaking brutal for career mode. Just realize there's only five pages as well. That is crazy. There are only nine players, nine attackers in the game who are 80 or above. Page two, page three. I mean, guys, career mode is going to be so freaking weird. It is time to choose our team, and I would love to look at the team sheets, but for some reason, the team sheets do not show the rating that has changed. This is their normal rating before. It's weird, bro. FIFA is so freaking weird. Ch oh, Chelsea actually. Oh, wait. Even I got confused there. Yes. These ratings are obviously not the same. They will hopefully change in the career mode. All right. We're going to be smart here and choose the right team. All right. Manager career. We got Mr. Turtle who's leading the troops today. All right. The moment of truth. Authentic club. We could go Prem. We could go French League. We could go Bundesliga. We could go uh, Australian League if we really wanted to. Now, nah, boys, we are doing it. The team because they have the highest rated goalkeeper, Atletico Madrid. Just so you can see, financial takeover is disabled since we lost the first challenge. All right, we got to make signings, bring this team to glory today. Oh, here's the thing too. We will have a chance to sign a lot of players because all of the attackers are low rated. Okay, here's our team. And as you guys can see, it still says like Suarez is 88, but it gives you the little minus next to their name. Minus six for Suarez and minus six to 88 is 82. A little math lesson you guys are going to get today along with this video. Yeah, you're going to have to do a little bit of math in your head. These are what the ratings have dropped to for every player. Koke, Llorente, and Oblak are the only three players whose ratings have not dropped. All right, so for the best team possible, I think we need to go with the formation with as many midfielders as possible. So actually going to go for this right here, the 4-1-2-1-2. Narrow. And we only have 50. Ugh. Wow, is that really all that the budget starts with? All right, 58 million to make some signings. So we got to see it. Lewandowski, we saw that he was the highest rated attacker in the game and still is unaffordable. But see, it still says he's 92 overall, even though he's not 92 overall. So dumb because players are probably going to be at the same price as to what they were. Oh, Jamie Verdi, only 20 million. And I think he only drops to a 78 overall, I want to say. We're going to keep him on the shortlist. What other position do you guys think, Cam? I think the defense is going to be good. I really want KDV, bro, but he's, his rating doesn't change. He's insane. Imagine I just would have scored one goal at the beginning of the video to get an extra 500 million. Probably a good thing that didn't happen because it would have just been too OP. Thinking this man's a bit, sir, but he's going to cost literally everything we own. Also, not allowed to sell players, unfortunately. Wait, should I just try this? He already wants to leave Chelsea. We just used him. The question is, will I be able to afford Ramalul Lukaku? 50 mil. 50 mil for the beast himself. Although he isn't a beast for one. Oh, wait, 62 mil. Actually, let's take it. Loki, he's been super toxic in this whole like Chelsea exit. Not gonna lie though, I'll gladly take him in my club. It's for playing time. 
Check. Contract link. Check. Lease clause. No check. And contract offer. Can we get a check, please? Just, just accept. Just accept. We move and we go. My man cost everything I have in this club. Moment of truth. The rating of Lukaku's 81. You know what? That is actually epic. Boys, this is going to be the final team. I mean, 91 O block is going to have to carry us to the Champions League. Also going to note, I'm going to say no development plans. Players' pace will eventually grow. Like, you can see the stats. Like, one acceleration, one agility, one sprint speed. They will grow without development plans because they're all unbalanced. Let's get to simulating, though. Let's win the freaking Champions League. Hold up. While we're simming, I need to take a break because, bro, look at this, dude. Look at this. 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 What is this? Why is there why is there snow? Come on, man. I thought Christmas is over. That means snow's supposed to be gone, right? Apparently, apparently not. Okay, right. How, do you guys like a little little mini vlog there mid-video? Maybe I should start including stuff like that more often. I don't know, but there is snow outside my house. And that's my backyard for the people who have not seen it. Here we go. Wait, is this about to be just way too easy? Cause we destroyed La Liga. <laughs> Literally, not even close. Not even close at all. Can we get a RIP too to like freaking, let's see, um, Barcelona in fifth, Real Madrid fourth, Sevilla, and then Athletic Bilbao. Yeah, bro. I mean, just give us, give us the Champions League right now. It's too easy. Or is it second in the group? No, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on. We need to get serious here, boys. Down to 16. Let's go. Are you? Nah. Are you kidding me? Is that actually real life? You mean to tell me we won everything by a landslide and then losing the round of 16? All right. Um, okay. Here's the final ratings. Oh, they've actually dropped. Okay, so here are the ratings that these players like Lukaku81, Suarez, but now they have plus five, plus five. This team was way too good to lose. So when we started to sim, the ratings fixed themselves to what they should be. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, Loki. Oh, we should have brought like Saul and Morata back from loan. Suarez top goal scorer, Lukaku, 15. That's it, really? If you guys want to see how much my videos have changed over the past few years, click this to see an old video with like a zero pace challenge. Guys, it's probably going to be so different from the videos now.